Asia, Africa Street in the middle of Bandung city. It sounds epic and it definitely is. Check out why. So this street is called Asia Africa Street because the first Asia Africa conference took place in this street. And fun fact, I'm actually standing now in front of the building where still Asia Africa conferences happen and different presidents from around Asia and around Africa come here together to talk business. So this only shows how interesting this street is. I already see that there's so much life happening in this street. People are taking pictures. There are a lot of people dressed up as superheroes, as ghosts, and there's lots of food places here as well. And right now we are walking towards the first five-star hotel here in Bandung. So I'm really excited how that is gonna look like and it looks already amazing. It is actually super interesting because right now where I'm standing there are so many Dutch influences. I am standing in front of a building that looks Dutch and there are even Dutch words written on it. Some of these buildings are still part of the old Batavia city and they moved it to here and that is why there is still really big Dutch influence to be seen here. This is the Dutch building that I'm talking about and because this is such an old city there are so many old buildings here and it's absolutely beautiful and I love to see the Dutch influence here. It reminds me a little bit of home actually and now like I said I'm standing in front of of the first five-star hotel in Bandung. Look how big this is all five-star hotel. I'm really impressed. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's actually funny because people are filming us all the time yeah. and they think we don't notice. Yeah, and I think they're really not used foreign people here, yeah. so that's also like a funny thing. That's really what we noticed, that it's such yeah. a weird thing for us to walk around yeah. here, that people are taking pictures with us all the time mm. and they're secretly recording us. Yeah, <laughs> they think we don't know this, it. but we do. Exactly. Like, if you see this, we see you filming, so we, know we don't mind. <laughs> we don't mind, it's all good. Yeah. Okay, so right now, we are walking in an area where so many people are dressed up, but they're dressed up super scary. Hello. Oh, Hi. Hi. Oh, wow. Oh my god! So scary! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So scary! Where are you from? Oh, no! No? No! <laughs> you look amazing! Mantap! <laughs> Normally I would be so scared but right now they look amazing and they're so nice actually but they look so scary. <laughs> but their makeup is so nicely done, I can't imagine. Wow. So beautiful. I just want to get, I want to get out of here now. I'm done. I'm so done. So now we are at Warung Nasi Kas Sunda Chamar and we are going to try out Chamar. I never had it before, I don't even know what it is. I'm gonna be completely surprised by this dish. So it turns out that Chamar means that you can literally pick your own food here. It's like a small Warung kind of. Oh, okay, now I get it. So I will just get something here and then see how it tastes. So this is gulai, it's very famous. That's the first thing that we're getting. Skandang, okay. Yeah, let's get one. Skandang. I think it's this mushroom. And then potatoes, I love it. Some Dutchness in here. It's fine. I actually like mihun, that's good. Nice. And one long ton. 
interesting. Right now we're sitting here and I just managed to get this dish together with Adam. He helped me. It's 48k in total, so that's super cheap. It's around 3 euros. And we have beef and dung, we have potato curry, we have something tempeh. I don't know to be honest what this is, so we're just gonna try it out. We have some potato fritter, which I had before, but I'm always curious how it tastes somewhere else. We have some mihun, so we're just gonna try everything. Shall we start with the beef rendang? I just can't oh my wait. God, yeah. Beef rendang is forever my favorite, and I just want to try it out again. This time it looks like this. It's not too much sauce, so... No, it's like more meat-looking. Yes. Like that. Oh. Mm. So insanely good. Amazing. This beef is so tender, I can't believe it. It's right? really is beef from dung. It really oh. has the same oh. taste. Oh my god, and the but beef. But it's only the beef. And wow. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wow. I keep eating. Oh my god. And next up, I'm super excited now. The potato curry. I mean, we're close to Asia Africa Street and it's all Dutch influence here, so we have to have our potatoes now. We cannot potatoes miss them. Potatoes forever. Mm. I miss oh. potatoes. This flavor. It really has a garlic taste. It's garlic nice. and spicy and paprika flavor. And I don't know what they put on here, but these potatoes are the best thing ever. Nine out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. I really miss my potato. Yeah. Oh, this is so nice. Now we are going to try this. If you know what this is, please comment down below because you have no idea. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. Let's have a bite. That looks like egg. Oh, I think it's, it's tofu or egg. It tastes like uh, olive. Yeah. I never had this taste here in Indonesia before. No, so this that's is like a funny thing. Please let me know in the comments what it is. We're really curious. But I would give this 6 out of 10. I'm not really a fan of it, to be honest. I'm not really a fan, but I like it. So it's a 7 out of 10 for me. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Potato fritter. Always my favorite. Here you go, girl. Let's see Thank how you. good this one is. Oh, what? How can this flavor be so good? Mm. Indonesia, how can people cook so nicely? Oh, how is it that so much taste? It looks so normal. That's what I'm always so curious about. It looks so normal. It looks not nice, oh, actually, and it is so, so good. Wow, it's soft on the inside. It's a bit crunchy on the outside, and the taste is just amazing. There are also herbs in here, which makes this flavor the so garlic nice. again. I think they cook a lot, lot with garlic, but that's the thing that I like so much. I know. <laughs> 9.5 out of 10. Maybe I give it 10 out of 10 again. <laughs> I could eat this all day. Like, Ooh, me too. I'm literally, I love potatoes and this is like the perfect cooked oh. potato. Last but not least, a little bit of mihun never hurts anyone. Looks like this. I haven't had mihun. In Bali, I actually don't eat mihun. I only eat me in Bali. I never had it in Bali. <laughs> I keep having the same response. This is so nice. Oh my God. We might have to go for a second plate. I'm so happy with this now. Mihun with beef ramdang is a win-win for me. Wow, wow, wow. This whole meal, like this whole plate, is the biggest 10 out of 10 for me. That surprised me because it's on the side of the street. It's a really crowded place actually, so it should be good. But you don't expect it because it's so small. And I didn't really know what we're eating. And this has just blown my mind because there's so much flavor. What did we like best? What did you like best? Of course, the beef rendang. Like, I can't lie. Beef rendang is just nice. And then the meat. I really like the meat. And I really like the potatoes as well. It's so good. All the flavors it's are so nice. It's so hard. Really yeah. It's so hard to say because everything was very delicious. But I really miss the potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes are so good. So I think I like the potatoes the best. The potato fritter. The potato fritter or the yeah, potato yeah. curry? Both, but I think okay. potato fritter first. Okay. I love it. All right, it's already late at night. It's time to go to bed, actually, because we've been walking around Bandung for such a long time today. So right now we explored the Asia Africa Street and we had this delicious meal. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and there are so much more Bandung videos coming. So please do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next adventure.